Hi guys, I'm Dr. Nishan, currently pursuing general medicine. Welcome back to my channel. So with about 90 days left for NEET PG 2023, I was getting a lot of messages regarding uh, how to approach the last 90 days. And uh, so I came up with this video. So help you plan your next 90 days and uh, how you can approach and get the most out of it uh, in the last three months. Rightly said, failing to plan is planning to fail. So if you don't have a plan in front of you, you will definitely lose track of your preparation. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. I would like to start the video with the help of two quotes. Number one, a man without a goal is like a ship without a rudder. This is like if you don't have a plan or you don't have a set targets, then uh, you'll not be able to get the most out of it. Uh, I would suggest that take a day off, sit down, take a piece of paper and have the things rightly placed how you're going to approach the next 90 days. Secondly, it's not about how you start, but it's about how you finish. You must have done everything right till now, but it won't matter if you don't finish it well. So definitely you have to put the best amount of energy in these last 90 days with the right amount of resources and the right balanced way so that you can get the best out of it. So this is very important to keep in mind. So with this last three months, I would suggest to give all your energy in with at least studying for 12 hours a day where you can uh, put seven hours of study into proper reading, which could be your notes, which could be any concept you are building. Three hours you have to give it to your QBank or the MCQs because practicing MCQs is the key. No matter how much you are studying, but if you are not practicing the MCQs and if you're not uh, setting it right to the format of the exam, that won't help you much. So three hours of question bank or practicing MCQ is a must and two hours in the end you can put for passive learning. Now what is passive learning here I mean is by gaining information by videos, by revision videos, MCQ discussions, test and discussions and MER which I'll be talking more in the further video. So this was my schedule where I used to wake up around uh, 8 a.m. and after having my breakfast I used to sit for a good session of 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. where I used to read something or build a concept. Then I used to uh, have a one hour session of MCQ followed by lunch and some rest. Then again, I used to give my second shot from 4 to 7 p.m. a good reading and then sum it up with 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. a good set of MCQs. And then after my dinner, I used to study for one more hour of reading. And then when I was exhausted at the end, Two hours I used to devote it to passive learning where I just used to sit and gain information which could be in form of any videos from the YouTube, you could be from an academy sessions, could be from your marrow, prep ladder, dams, any other sessions where you don't have to put much effort. You just have to sit and listen because that is also a way of studying and you're getting information in some form or the other. Going forward, once you have known the schedule of how you should divide your day into uh, different chunks. First, you should know where you stand in the phase of your preparation. For that, I have divided the experience into three categories. Uh, category 1, 2 and 3, where category 1 people are those who have at least completed their first reading. They have done their QBank once, they have done everything right till now and they are ready to go for a perfect revision. In category 2, I would put aspirants who are halfway through. They have done decent in the recently conducted INICT. They have a decent rank in NEET PG 2022, uh, which is about 25,000, 30,000, but you couldn't get your dream branch. Aspirants who have done more than 50 to 60% of your course or they are left with less than five subjects. Consider yourself in the category two. And category three are the hustlers who are going to hustle in the last 90 days and they have not started yet or they are working as an intern, medical officer, lost track of studies due to any event in life. So you have to consider yourself in category three uh, and if you're watching this video, you have to believe that you still have scope to get it done in the last 90 days if you know, if you plan it well. So this is a checklist I want everyone to follow in whichever category you belong to. Uh, PYQ and PYQ topics, uh, that is previous questions. Then GTs, that is grand tests, they are very important. Then MER, Midnight Express series, which had been conducted by Dr. Jaina Bora. I will be making a separate video on MER series, how, how to go about it, uh, of which link would be in the description below or you would find the video in the i button up here. Then Pearls, which is free in the Mero app, which you should download. 
and uh, get access to. And lastly, MCQ discussion and rapid revision videos, uh, which is plus minus if the time allows. So category one, I would divide the 90 days into first 60 days and the last 30 days. So category one, aspirants have ample time to integrate and study. You can give one GT per week and you can watch two Midnight Express sessions each day. And uh, last 30 days, your approach should be PYQs. You should revise the Midnight Express PDFs and uh, you can give one, one to two GTs in the last 30 days. For category two, uh, you have to complete the remaining course at least within 30 days. You have to start the Midnight Express series from today itself. You can give GT every uh, 10 to 15 days, which would sum up around six to eight GTs and then the PYQ topic approach. And the last 30 days, again, PYQs and the revision of the MER sessions. And category three experience, you have no option, but to start with the PYQ topics, particularly, and the Midnight Express series. And at least you should give four GT before appearing for the exam. And the last 30 days to go for PYQs, advise the MER PDFs. The PYQ topic list you will find in Dr. Nikita Nanwani's channel on Telegram. Uh, subject wise or I'll also try to share the file in the description below coming to the number of days you should allot to a subject in the next 60 days uh, I have given at least 2 to 2.5 days to the short subjects which are ortho, derma, ENT, optha, radio, anesthesia, psychiatry, forensic and pedia so which will sum up around 23 days and for the long subjects you can devote around 4 to 5 days and uh, long subjects being anatomy, physiology, pharma, uh, micro, biochem, PSM, medicine, surgery, patho and OBGY. So, which will roughly be around 60 days. You should keep in mind that you have to give equal time to all the subjects so that the possibility of scoring becomes more. Now, integration of the subjects. This is my plan, how I used to integrate when I was preparing. So, before I started my revision, I was already done with my first reading, done with solving my Q-Banks. So I did my integration and I started that way. So you can see in the plan when I was studying gynae and the gynae oncology, I did pathology along with it. When I was studying microbiology, bacteria, viruses, the parasites, I tried to do the antimicrobials of the pharmacology. Then when I was studying the renal system from medicine, I tried to do the three P's along, which is the physio, pharma and path. So similarly for any other system from the medicine, I try to do the physio pharma path together so that it becomes easier and takes less time. Similarly, embryology with obstetrics made it very easy. Then anatomy, upper limb, lower limb, when I was doing, I did orthopedics along with it. So if you see the yellow markings, I have given ample importance to the grand tests, uh, which you also have to give. And I will be talking much more about the grand tests in the subsequent videos, not this one. Then the cardiology, neurology, the, the medicine part and the pharmacology and the other piece. Then the biochem, I studied it with pediatrics because the most of the genetic disorders uh, goes well with pediatrics. And in the PSM also many things are covered. And for short subjects, you don't have to integrate much because giving them just a day or two would do. So you can go about integration in this way, uh, which I have done. Uh, this is mainly for the category A aspirants because they have ample time and they have done their first reading well. For category B and category C, I wouldn't uh, suggest integrating so much. If you have time and if you have want to just integrate a particular subject, then you can go about it. But otherwise, you should stick to completing once and then uh, approach PYQ topic wise and at least complete the Midnight Express session because JVMM already summarized the topics really well in, this, in, the, in those sessions, which I'll be talking more about. So with this, I have almost come to the end of this video uh, and I would like to end the video on this note uh, that you sh have to always believe in yourself because if you believe that you can do it, you can do it. If you believe you cannot, that is also true. Idea of this video is not to give you an exact plan to follow but to give you an insight into how you can make your own plan. Once you give a touch to your own plan, then the game becomes really different. I would suggest take a day off, sit down with a paper, try to watch this video again and pick up the best points which you would like to implement in your own plan. And I'm telling you, I'll be hearing all your stories from the other side and I would be very happy if you get the process right and get your dream branch. So keep studying and cheers and if you are new to my channel, 
uh, please subscribe to my channel it would be a happy family to grow along with and i would be coming up with many more videos so please stay tuned all the best for the next 90 days to put your best foot forward till then cheers